actually gain some extra horsepower on these cars surprisingly i feel like the uh, gt500 are pretty restricted from the uh, factory so because minor stuff on these cars add a lot of power to the tire which is pretty crazy so i think with that intake x pipe and a, what, a pulley or something you'll be in mid 800 to the tire easy and then add more boost of course we're gonna hit the charlies and see what x pipe they have and i'll catch you guys when we get over there and we're rolling guys so as for what i've been seeing so far is that the uh x pipe and resonator actually makes this thing get a little bit louder too and the thing is you want to be careful with mustangs and you know what you do to the exhaust because they can get pretty loud i don't want it to be too loud i want it to have a nice tone still have that you know 5.2 liter tone that it has they have a specific tone that's just really nice which is what i like i want to keep it i don't want to take off the mufflers because i like the uh active exhaust where you could change it and change it you know different modes quiet it up i still want to be able to go quiet when i want to Got this thing leaking good, man. That little ceramic with that sunshine be hitting, boy. Check out this single cab, boy. Golly. Got the steps out on here with them things on it, boy. Damn. What size lip that is, but that's about my forearm in there. Jesus, boy. Intros on that thing. He only got the back on there. I don't know what he gonna do about the front, because right now he looking a little handicapped right now. That's clean, man. Can't wait to see when it's all done together. Got the Z28 up here. So you did like the muffler, all this right here. The only bad thing about it, the customer, he wants to clamp on like this. He's gonna stack and clamp. Oh. It's gonna leak. That's what he asked for? <laughs> I guess. Headers, some motor work probably. It's all hemi orange up under here. Antique. It's that, it's that, uh, that foot tapper. It's that, <laughs> one of them. Big boy. There you go. Them, them, them foot tappers, you gotta warm it up. Man, that's one thing about old school cars. They're so basic. They're really basic, man. They give you a radio and a shifter, and that's about it, man. I like it. Looks good. Sounds real healthy. That's you. Look, you gotta get rid of your orange Camaro. Now you gotta get this. <laughs> I can see you driving it. Uh oh. What we gonna do with this? All these? Those we're gonna delete these. Okay, we're deleting. Leave that one as it is. Yeah. We're gonna delete this. We'll try to leave them all stainless steel. We can leave on there. So I think we just wanna delete this section right here. Uh -huh. We don't wanna have to mess around with that. We will probably just delete the the, the shield on top. That's about it. Like a shot, carbon fiber drive shaft. Yeah, yeah, you can tell by the material we get the new edges. Oh yeah. yeah. Super clean under here too. This guy's a little splash, but they come with this cover up under here. Look at all that suspension, man. Performance ride up there. I don't know if they can see it. Pretty nice. Brakes are huge. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole cooler for the diff and everything back there. Because when I I had did the LED change right here for this, uh -huh. we have to pull this down, and then you can see all the. It's like a little mini inner cooler back there, basically for the for the diff. Yeah, I put an LED one in there. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Got some weird shit going on. All this back there on these newer cars, man. <laughs> Clean and steel, polish. So this is what we're gonna remove from this section right here. This is the only section that it reduces the pipe. Uh huh. I think it's like a two, three quarters. Yeah. And it reduces all the way to two and a quarter right here. All right. And then it comes out to two and a half and then to two, three quarters. So we're just gonna chop these off. So I cut this off right out after it kind of reduces. Here, just kind of take it off right out the edge so we can kind of slide this one in there and reduce take off all that small piping right there here they are man got these resonators 
coming off. He's already come with shorty hitters, so he recommends not doing too much of the hitters currently. You don't really need to do too much of those. And then uh, do a cat delete, X-pipe, and that's pretty much a good exhaust right there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much don't need to do too much. You already got stainless everywhere, good mufflers. Yes, yeah, all the piping is. I think this is some of the best piping I've seen from factory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the most restriction to have. This right here. They trying to convince me to do the fives on here, man. The fives look good though. I ain't gonna lie. Damn. <laughs> that's that's huge though. I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> We'll put the big seagulls on the back. <laughs> Two big ass singles on the back of there, boy. God, they just add it to the bottom. Thrusters. <laughs> just the thrusters. <laughs> So we came over here to Charlie's Camaro, man. He wants to go ahead and sell this thing. So if any of you guys know anybody that's looking for a Z28, he's actually selling it. This thing's been on the channel through my whole builds, my YouTube stuff. So if you guys know, this car has been well taken care of. Uh, I think he's gonna get it paint corrected and everything. He took off uh, this flat black wrap that it had on the hips. So he's gonna get all that paint corrected and stuff. So it does have the matte black on the trunk and the hood. And um, as you guys know, it has that blower on it, fully built 7.0. This thing's nasty. And I think he has probably one of the best sounding chops and idols that I've heard from anything, man. This thing sounds nasty. Let me go ahead and start it up for you guys. You know, he got that Alcatara too. Okay, and then we uh, got that carbon fiber steering wheel with the RPM. <laughs> Probably one of the best idols that I've heard, man. This thing chops. Got the carbon wrap on the door panels. Carbon up there on the dash. Look at that steering wheel, man. Thing's pretty dope. Oh yeah, they got the cutouts. Got that set up, you don't have to pay for none of that, man. You got a car ready to go. ZL1 add ons, wing. Man, this thing is ready to go. Any of you guys want it, man, contact Charlie, come up to uh, Elfer's shop, or you can contact me and I'll get you in contact with him, man. Or if you know anybody, it's a badass built car, 700 wheel, 700 plus wheel. E85 set up everything ready to go and I can't say I've driven the car and it drives like man beautiful oh yeah man y'all missing out man y'all come over here pick this thing up he said he wants to move on to a couple other things man and y'all know he's taking care of it man yeah that's why i bring my cars here so baby this car i think it only has 30k so there you guys go man contact me hit up elfers come to the shop hit up charlie man it's for sale got the x pipe installed extra piping right here to fill it in Painted it and everything for me with all the stainless rig back. Let's hear how it sounds now. Start in normal mode. It's definitely a little tone louder. That's in normal mode. Some revs for me. This would be normal right here. Oh yeah, normal is a lot louder. 
sport mode. Charlie hooked me up, man. You need any exhaust work, stuff like that, head over there to the exhaust shop, man. Check them out. They always take care of me. They took care of my uh, CTSB work. Shit, the vet, I think they did a full exhaust on that as well. The resonators, the exhaust that you guys love from the V was done there. This one sounds amazing now. I know y'all heard that pool. This thing sounds ridiculous. The supercharger noise. And once I put that intake on here, this thing's gonna be crazy. Um, like I said, man, check them out and uh, Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Peace out. Y'all be safe.